Hi everybody, left to the make chair. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I woke up this morning thinking I'm going to do some kind of um, celebrity inspired makeup tutorial and I went through and I was kind of looking at a few things and I wasn't very inspired. And then I thought, well who inspires me? And it's makeup gurus. So I decided that I'm going to pick my favourite makeup guru um, who is Emily Knowles 83. She is my absolute fa favourite ever. Seriously, I absolutely adore her. Um, she has a beauty broadcast channel and ever since I first watched her video I was instantly subscribed. I thought she was incredible incredible and she has this whole family kind of system on Facebook where everybody kind of communicates with each other and we all kind of learn stuff from each other and I just think it's fantastic and what she's created is is fantastic. So I don't know if I'm going to do a few of these. I don't know whether I'm going to do a few more other gurus that I'm a big fan of but I decided to start off with my absolute favourite and that is Emily. So I really hope that you enjoy this look. It is kind of inspired by one of her tutorials in particular which I will link in the box below. But it's using a few products that I'm, I have seen her use and things that I have gotten because I've seen her use them um, because she reviews amazingly. And you can see my dog stretching in the background. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoy this and you will keep watching to see this kind of makeup tutorial and check out Emily because she's fantastic. Just keep watching. So I'm going to start by taking my e.l.f. eyelid primer. This is just going to prevent creasing. Next I'm going to take a cream base. I'm actually going to be taking this from the Beauty Encyclopedia by e.l.f. And I'm going to be taking the second colour that's in here. I'm going to take a little bit onto the lid. This is going to be a really great kind of highlight. It's going to help our highlighted shade to look more intense as well. I believe Emily used a um, shader stick that she is a big fan of. But as I don't have that, I'm going to use this. The next eyeshadow I'm going to be using is this MUA eyeshadow. It looks like this. It's beautiful. Now, Emily used a nylon eyeshadow, and it's kind of similar to that, I have to say. So I'm going to actually take this with my fingertips to begin with, and I'm just going to dab it over the lid. Now, we're sticking this right on the lid here. I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush, and I'm just going to take this into the inner part of the eye. So I'm just getting that inner part there, that inner V shape. We're also going to use this as our highlight, so I'm going to take a fluffy brush in that same shade and I'm just going to put it right underneath our brows like this. I did thicken up my brows a little bit just because Emily kind of has thicker brows than I do. Now I'm going to move on to using a bronzer as our crease colour. I really liked this tip that she put in one of her videos. I thought it was fantastic and I use it all the time. So I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. bronzer onto my same fluffy brush and I'm going to work this into the crease. And this is just a absolutely beautiful crease colour. I'm just going to work that on the outer part of the eye as well. Now you don't want to come outside here so if you want to you can place your brush alongside your nose and the corner of your eye and you can see that all down here should be clean. So keep your um, shadows going upwards rather than out. Now we're going to define the eyes a little bit more by adding some eyeliner and I'm going to be using a gel eyeliner to do the upper lash line. I'm going to take a very thin brush and we're just going to line right the way across and it's a little bit thicker on the outer part of the eye. So I'm just placing my brush right along my lashes like this. Then I'm going to come into the inner part. Just doing really light little strokes. As she gets to the outer part, she usually has this slightly thicker, so I'm just going to place my um, little pinky alongside my cheekbone just to give it some support, and we're just going to do a little bit of a kick on the outer part. So just allow it to get a little bit thicker. Also bring it just underneath the eye under here, just underneath the outer half of the lash line, the lower lash line, just with whatever's left over on your brush. Next we're going to move on to using an eyeliner in the inner part of the eye. I'm going to be using a pencil eyeliner by Rimmel. This is their Precision Eyeliner and it's the Special Eyes. I love this one, it's my absolute favourite. So I'm just going to line right the way across. Emily usually brings it right in here as well. So what you can do is close your eyes and let it run across and that way you get the upper and the lower lash line and you get right in there. Moving on to another eyeshadow, I'm going to be using MUA's um, shade number 13. But as you can see, it's quite similar to Emily's, one of Emily's favourite MAC eyeshadows, the um, Beauty Marked 
eyeshadow. This is slightly more on the purple side. We're going to take this onto our flat brush and we're just going to do a little bit of smudging right underneath the lash line. This is also going to help set our eyeliner. And I like to take a little bit, just a very small amount, and I like to just go over that liquid liner that we have on the top. And it gives it kind of a little bit of a different shade as it hits the light. We're going to move on to some mascara. I'm going to be using this um, NYC mascara. I'm just going to give it one or two coats because I am going to be applying some false eyelashes. I'm going to finish off the face and I am going to use the same highlighter that we used on the lid. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm going to take a little stippling brush like this. I'm going to take a little bit of that highlighter. Because I've already powdered my face, I don't want to go directly onto my face, otherwise it will just stay in one place. So I'm just going to brush this very, very lightly over the top of my cheekbones just to give them a little bit of highlight. Then to add some blush and bronzer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzer Duo in this kit. Just going to add a little bit of blush to the cheeks and the apples. And then I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer and just work it over the face like this. I'm going to do that three shape. So just like that. Move on to the lips and I have applied it already but I'm going to tell you what I used. So I used my absolutely favourite lipstick ever and this is the lipstick Pink Blush which I actually found out about when I was on the Beauty Broadcast um, Facebook which I'll link in the box below. But it's this beautiful pink colour and it's a bit like um, Lady Gaga's Viva Glam by MAC. I love it. It's so so pretty and it's my absolute favourite. This goes with me everywhere. Then over the top of that I have used um, this Nivea kind of lip balm. Um, this is in Pink Sugar, and it just gives a really nice kind of shimmery glow to the lips. Oh, and before I forget, I also lined my lips with this, which is a kind of berry um, eyeliner. This is actually for your eyes, but I use it on my lips. I know that's kind of strange, but this is Bourjois uh, Violet Iris, and it's amazing for the lips. Cause it's kind of that berry um, rich kind of color, so I really like that. So I really hope you enjoyed this look and I hope you will check out Emily. I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of hers. Half from the very first video that I ever saw, which was like, I'd say years ago now. I mean, I've just been a huge fan of hers. Even my mom knows who she is because I talk about her so much. So I really hope you enjoy this. I will link her Facebook and her channel in the box below as well as kind of where this look came from. Um, but I really hope that you enjoyed this and you will check Emily out. And I'm Shanae Katie and thank you for watching.